Hello, Dana Abercrombie's a coalition. Thank you so much for speaking to me. You know, what I really wanted to learn is, you know, I love, well, Wendell and Wynn's relationship is rather interesting. And mm -hmm. I wanted to know kind of with the disappearance of Wim, do you feel that that forces him to confront what that relationship is and how it is kind of fractured because of the mother? Um, you know, it, I definitely, it definitely called attention to, um, because when we first meet Wendell and Wim, it's it's very much a a stern father who's warning his child, basically, who wants the best for his kid. He just wants the best. And as we all know, parents who can be overprotective and want the best, especially if it's a, a single parent, it's sort of like, this is my job. I have to make sure you turn out okay. Um, we see that. And then um, the fact that Wendell's worst fear comes true where he's just like oh no my kid is in this situation where I actually can't protect him he did everything I said he shouldn't do um mm -hmm. and I think that the you know the biggest part of that fear <laughs> I believe is uh there's such a gigantic love and protection for his son that he's uh we we see within w Wendell someone who's very you know kind of a stuck in his world doesn't want to rock the boat um suddenly has to figure out a way to go beyond himself to be very brave about trying to figure out how to get his son back um so we we get i think those those two aspects show up pretty quickly i don't know how stern your parents were but i had very strict parents and i um definitely put a lot of my dad into this character <laughs> I was wondering, kind of at the beginning, we know that there is an assessment test. Mm -hmm. um, do you feel that there is a certain want for the outcome that he wants his son to become? And does that kind of shift and change towards the end? I'm, well, there's definitely a, a certain outcome. You know, again, it's the kind of thing where it's just like this is the uh, this assessment has the equivalent of the SATs or whatever, you know, used to be like, this is your path now. This is, you know, and I don't have to worry about you anymore. Um, I, I over the course of the series, um, you uh, I think Wendell and maybe, you know, the rest of the parents also your expectations for, you know, your your sort of social expectations for what your child should be doing kind of go out the window when you have to go on a trip to just find them somewhere in the galaxy. So I feel like uh, all of that, which is kind of a, you know, a real technical architecture around your parenting and your child uh, gives way to this uh, kind of unruly uh, emotional drive to just protect them. Um, and see them for you have to see them for a person after that that's you know it's like not what they're about to be but who they are right now and what they're doing um to to help themselves you know in the situation you're hoping that you gave them enough anything so they can handle themselves you know a bit out there without you i was wondering what's his relationship towards the other parents who were also looking for their kids do you feel that there is more of a follower mentality in terms of Wendell or is more of a doer when he takes action? I feel like it's a bit of both. I feel like the parents <laughs> uh, band together in a very con confusing situation and um, uh, are each forced in certain aspects in certain situations to be uh, doers and, and followers, you know, like other parents take the lead when uh, when certain parents kind of are are just at sea about things, which um, they 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 form a pretty, um, they're <laughs> everybody's figuring it out. I think right. is a is a, a a pretty good overview from the parents the parent side. Mm. Understandable. Well, thank you so much for speaking to me. Excellent series. Absolutely, Tina. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Great to talk thank to you. you.